tonight the latest developments on the rescue at Newport's Cliff Walk. A man pulled to safety after reportedly falling this afternoon. And this video shows the firefighters desperately working to lift the man up from the rocks to safety. Eyewitness News reporter Madeline Wright is live in Newport with more details on the rescue for us. Shannon, Mike, thousands of people come here every year to take in the magnificent views of the ocean. But these cliffs are treacherous, and tonight one man is recovering from serious injuries after falling down the rocks. Nice and slow, guys. Nice and slow. Dramatic video shows Newport firefighters hoisting an elderly man up the rocks after he fell off the cliff walk. The victim was placed on a stretcher and flown by medical helicopter to Rhode Island Hospital, suggesting he was seriously hurt. I thought it was crazy. You know, I didn't know if he had jumped. I didn't know if he fell. And, uh, you know, everyone was just a little worried, a little nervous about what was going on. The circumstances that led up to the fall are not clear, but when firefighters got to the scene, they found the victim on the rocks, partially in the water with the tide coming in. They got the call at the end of Webster Street around 1230 Thursday afternoon. Supposedly where he fell, if I know the area correctly, it's, it's very steep, very rocky and very thick with weeds. It's definitely not an easy fall. Definitely sad. Hopefully he gets better. This isn't the first time someone's been hurt here. Back in 2000, a Brooklyn man who fell off the cliff walk was paralyzed. And eight years later, a woman wound up in a coma after falling 50 feet off the cliff walk. If you're not careful, it's definitely dangerous. Even with the 40 steps when we climb down, you know, you fall, you're going to hit jagged rocks. I called the Newport Police and Fire Department to find out more information about who the victim is and how he's doing, but the police said that they had no further information, but they expect to release more details tomorrow morning. Live in Newport with the East Bay Mobile Newsroom, Madeline Wright, Eyewitness News.